We're almost ready to get back to Il Barbieri di Siviglia, but first, I'm going to visit with the four-legged star of our show. This is Sir Gabriel, and he's joined by his trainer, Nancy Novograd. Hello. Hi, nice to see you. Hello. Gabriel, say so, hi. Nancy, tell us a little bit about Sir Gabriel. Where well, does he come from, and how did he get such an aristocratic name? He came with this name. He has won awards. He's a wonderful donkey. He had very good basic training. And then when we got him, we started playing music for him, walking him through doorways, introducing him to a lot of things. And he came to the Met and got along with everybody. And, was and, and what's basic training? Oh, hello. You're getting awfully friendly. Here, would you like another one? <laughs> That's because he knows you have the yes, Mint. <laughs> We're all out now, Gabriel. <laughs> well, he can. He drives, and you can ride him. Uh -huh. um, he's comfortable with loud noises, lots of music, lots of people, walking through people doorways, uh -huh. all sorts of things. Loud sopranos. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful soprano. Well, I understand that uh, Sir Gabriel is a Met veteran, and everyone backstage adores him, and I can yes. see why. When did he make his debut? He made his debut, I think it was in 2006 in La Boheme, and then went on to Carmen with his sidekick, mm -hmm. and then has done uh, Cavalleria and uh, Suar Angelica. Well, we have some of his uh, photos, some of his headshots, if oh, you will, good. in different Great. roles. Uh, here he is, not yet in costume, uh, entering the building for a performance, as you mentioned, of La Boheme. Mm -hmm. And here he is in La Boheme's Act Two crowd scene. Mm -hmm. And here is Sir Gabriel surrounded by nuns in Suar Angelica. Yes. <laughs> and he loves it all. He loves all the nuns. Yeah. Well, good. <laughs> so what kind of training is involved to get him uh, ready for the Met stage? A lot Just of peppermint, apparently. A lot, yes. Well, he responds very well to treats. He likes apples, carrots, and mints. Yeah. Um, and he's, he's worked around a lot of noise and people and crowds. Mm -hmm in and out of buildings, uh, just getting comfortable with a lot of things around him, behind him, and in front of him, and just getting along with everybody, which he does very, very well. Well, I understand uh, opera is just one aspect of his resume. Yes. <laughs> what other projects does he have coming up? Well, he was asked to be in the ballet, but he had the opera commitment first, so he had to turn it down. Does he dance en point? <laughs> Not en point, but, <laughs> but to the music, hopefully. <laughs> does he ever get spooked on stage? How do you make sure no. that he stays calm and hits his marks? He hits his marks because he's with a handler at all times, and he doesn't get spooked because he's prepared. You know, there's a lot of prep that goes in. Well, and he's got a great personality. He's just a good, well-rounded donkey. He's very donkey. beautiful. Thank you. I understand you. that you have figured out how to make him bow on command. Yes. Can well, we that's, see that? I, I, need, I need training and my, yeah, oh. I need carrots. All right, next time. Next, next time we'll yes. get you to bow. He'll bow at the end of the opera. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much, Sir Gabriel and Nancy. My <laughs> Take pleasure. Care.